naturalisé blanc ça haïtien. Okay, so this first lick, the chords in this thing kind of bounce back and forth between a 1-4-5 in the key of A. So that would be, it starts out in A, then goes D, then back to A, then A to E, and then E to A. So we're aiming for chord tones that outline that. That's why that melody sounds so strong that he plays. It's simple, but it's really pretty and it works. So we start out on the third of A. So that's going to be our ninth fret, high E string, and we go. 9, 7, 5, and then end on 5 on the B string. So we got to start out. Then the next part is we go on our B string 5, 7, back to 5, and then we land on 6 on our G string. So, so far we got. And then we climb up on the G string. Four, six, seven, and then land on seven high E. So to that point, we got. Then after that, we go four on our high E string, five, seven, land on five. And then we finish with just that kind of A major chord played like this. E string, B string, G string, D string. So real slow that's. Okay, so at first glance, this lick probably appears really simple, but there's two things you need to keep in mind here. Number one, how do we apply it to other situations? And number two, you need to really focus on what feel he's playing that with. Certain notes, he's like kind of um, playing a lot softer than the initial attack, and he's sliding in like super gracefully into each note. So first we can get the lick down, then we're going to do a little explaining on it. So we start out, and it's all six. It's six intervals, and on this one here, we're bouncing between B and E. Right? So we're going to start out, we're going to go up here to our ninth fret G string and high E string. We're going to slide up to 9 and then catch that other 9 on our high E string. And then you slide with your middle finger down a half step. And then with your pointer finger now on the high E string, you catch the seventh fret. So, so far we got. Okay, then you do a little pause. And then you play the 6th fret G string and the 5th fret high E string. And then slide that down to the 4th fret G string. And then with your ring finger on your left hand, catch that 4th fret high E string. And you slide it up again and repeat. Back to 6 and 5. Slide down to 4 and 4. One more time slowly, that's. If you notice, I'm playing the high E string softer than I'm playing the G string. That gives a more feel and emotion if you pay really close attention to the way he's playing it. So like I said, we're outlining major chords with sixth intervals. So if you were to harmonize this scale into six, you would get this, this, 
okay? So whenever you're looking at a song, you can always take that scale, harmonize it in six, and apply that same technique in whatever rhythm you want to it. He switches up the rhythm later in the video as well, so you can get some ideas from that. Kind of cue your inspiration. But to start out with this one, it's going... It's all slide in six, so you can take that up the scale even further. Like that, so you can make things up yourself. Switch it up and come up with your own ideas, but take what he's doing and apply it to your own thing. So what's going on here with this lick is it's repetitive, so it's more thematic. So the repetition gives your brain something to grasp onto. You can kind of sing it, kind of groove to it. So we're going to start out on our 11th fret, hammer on the 13th D string. And then we're going to play with a bar kind of on that 11th fret, our G string. And then we're going to land on the 11th fret D string again. Then repeat it. Okay, then we scoot that same thing back a whole step or two frets. Repeat it. up to speed it's and you can always finish with the blues lick like he did so in particular I think he did this he went up 11 bend up on the G string land on 9 11 D 11 G back to 11 on your D 9 on D string a string slide 11 back to 7. So, so all the other ligas. Cool. Make it feel good, make it sure it's in the pocket, rhythmically within a subdivision. This looks very intricate, it's kind of long and really noty, and that's because it outlines chord tones and triads. So we're going to start out on our 8th fret G string, 8, 10, 8, 7, 8, then 7, I'm sorry, 8 on the high E, then 9 on B, 8 on G. That's the first part, so we got... Then you grab this 10th fret G string and play it a few times. And then 11, 10, 9, 10. And then you grab your 9th fret high E string, 11th fret B string, 10th fret G string. So that's... So from the beginning so far we got... Then we're going to go to our B string, 8, 9, 8, 10 on G, back to that 8 on your B. And then you're going to grab 11th fret high E string, 9 high E, 11 B. Okay, so so far we got... The very last part is we're going to take our ring finger and our middle finger on the 8th fret, G string and high E string, and slide up, hit it again, then down a whole step to the 6th fret, hit it again on the G string, and then middle finger on your G string 5th fret, end on your pointer finger 4th fret high E string, 
So that's... Okay, so we're basically bass swinging an E7 chord, the dominant, which is the 5 chord in the key of A major, back to A major, and loose back and forth, back and forth. So we're going to be outlining E7 arpeggios, and then borrowing notes from the A major scale whenever the A major chord comes. So we're going to start by sliding a half step up from 8 to 9 on our G string, and then we're going to play 12 on our D, 11 on A, 9 on D, and then hammer on 9 to 11 on G, and then play 9. So, so far we got... And then it repeats that first note, and then we're going to fall down an A major scale. So that's going to be 11 on our D string, 9, then A string, 12, 11, 9. So, so far we got... slide up again one more time and we're gonna bar that ninth fret and we're gonna pull off from 12 to 9 on our B string and then play the G string and do it again so we got and then we're gonna slide up one more time and we're gonna grab that A major triad so that's gonna be our ninth fret high E string 10th fret B 9G, and we're going to walk down 12, 11, 9 on our A string. So that last half is... So the whole lick now is... That's the whole lick. So, like I said, probably a good one to start off with a metronome and then build it up to speed. Okay, so this is a cool lit because it's kind of like half lead, half, half rhythm. So, what we're doing there is we're outlining the chords E, bounces back and forth, E, A. So what the lick is doing here is we're starting out on our 7th fret A string, then 4th fret D, 7th fret D, then hit twice on 6, twice on 4, and then land on the flat 7 of E, which is actually your 5th fret A string. So, so far we got That's the first half. Now the second half, we go 4 on D, 6, then 4 on G, and then 4 on D, twice, 7 on A twice, land on 4 on your A string, and then it repeats. So the whole thing slowly is... So once again, we're outlining the third, the flat seven, the one, and the fifth, which is all the chord tones of E7 and A major. So this is my favorite look of the whole lesson because it's just awesome. It just feels cool. <laughs> it's basically it's simple. It's no academic answer there, just a cool lick. 
So we're going to start out on our 6th fret B string, and we're going to pull off to 5. And then we're going to pull off 7 to 5 on the G string. Slide down to 4 after you do that, and land on 6 on the D string. So, so far we got... And hit that last one twice. And then you're going to do the same little beginning. But then you're going to go back up and slide 7 to 9. And then land on 7 D string, 5 G string. So the second part. So the first part with the second part together so far is this. Okay, then after that we got 5. Six, five on B, four on high E, five, six, five on B, seven on high E, and then eight, seven, five, bar, B string, G string. So that last tap is. So all together we got. So this lick is in the key of B flat major. We're gonna start out here on our D string third fret. D string five, G string two, three, five, slide up to seven, catch six on your B string, back to seven on your G, and then you're gonna go three on your G string, and then three on D. So, so far we got slower. And then after that we're going to go to our 5th fret, D string, G string 3, 2, 5, 3, 5, and then 3 on our B string. So that last part is... together slowly we got so try to make it sing try to sing the vocal melody and then apply it to that on guitar and be more musical and melodic that's what we're shooting for beautiful melodies right here okay so slow it down make sure you're playing every note crisp and clear make every note punch every note count